I am Doug Fisher, New Jersey Secretary of Agriculture. Uh, I am here uh, on a particular mission, which is uh, to look for egg sacs of the spotted lantern fly. It is now March, and as we all know, that spring is coming upon us. We're going to have a growing season, and we want to make sure that the spotted lantern fly uh, can be eliminated as much as possible in our state. We know it's a growing menace, and we're out there with crews across this state uh, looking for the, some of the major infestations, but we also know that you can start in a very little way, even on your home properties. If I have here Joe Zeltanowski, he is the director of the plant in New Jersey. Uh, so Joe, why don't you explain, explain what they should do and what they look like uh, if they have them on their property. All right, so these are the tree of heaven. This is uh, the spotted lantern flies, go-to host. They usually mate on these in the fall. Then they'll die off, leaving only egg masses for the winter. You see these little discolored areas here. These are these are eggs underneath these things, and you can see individual eggs. So the females will lay these little what look like tire tracks. These are viable eggs here. Then she'll cover them up with this coating, this gray coating. And she can lay them anywhere she wants. So on this tree, you can see a lot of these. So I guess some individual ones here. So all these will hatch out, and they could be anywhere from 30 to 50 little nymphs coming out of these egg masses. Definite shape. So take, if you, once you take note of that, it's something that you want to eliminate. And it's so easy to do, Joe. Show them what they need to do. It's not just scraping it off. But you want to kind of crush them as you're scraping them off. You know, if you can use a card, same technique. You just want to squish them as you're dragging them and ripping it off the tray. Gently, gently. So you can get a crunch. That's how you know you're killing them. That's the crunch. Those eggs, if they just fell from the ground without that crunch, they're going to hatch down there. Right, take your time to do this. Obviously, be careful. If you see high egg masses, I would not want to be doing this if I was standing on the lap. So, why do we want to eliminate the spotted lanternfly? Because they can do huge damage once they uh, uh, congregate in large numbers. And so, the more that you can do as an individual to just you know take them out these egg cases, you'll be helping everyone.